The doctrine of the Trinity is true. It's in the Bible. So this is Nana, right? This is this is my beautiful Nana. This is Nana. And she now believes in the Trinity, the Godhead, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, one God in three persons. Right. You know, she, you were brought up Baptist, and uh -huh. then you kind of got into the oneness belief system, right? Right. And so I want to go through some scriptures, right? I want right. to start off with Jesus in John chapter 5, where he says he does not bear witness of himself, right? I want okay. to go to John 6, 46 as well. John chapter 5, verse 31. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that beareth witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesseth of me is true. Ye sin unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth, but I receive not testimony from man. But these things I say, that ye might be saved. He was a burning and a shining light, and you were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have a greater witness than that of John. For the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do bear witness in me, that the Father hath sent me. And the Father himself, which hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape." So this is Jesus talking to the Pharisees. He doesn't bear witness mm -hmm. of himself. The Pharisees have never seen the Father's shape or heard his voice at any time. Now, if the Son is the Father, that makes no sense. John 6, 46. Not that any man has seen the Father, save he who is from God, he has seen the Father. So right there, refuted. Right. The Son is not the Father. The Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. John 5, 22 through 23. Right. No man knows the day nor the hour, not the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but the Father only. Matthew 24, 36, Mark, Mark 13, 32, right? Mm -hmm. Mark 13, 32. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He Amen. was in the beginning with God. Amen. John 1, 14, the, the Word became flesh. So this is getting hot in here. Yeah. John 1 14 the <laughs> word became flesh first John 3 8 for this purpose the Son of God was manifested we have seen and testify that the Father hath sent the Son to be the Savior of the John. world first John 4 14 right at the baptism Jesus comes out of the water the Spirit descends upon him as a dove the Father speaks from heaven this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased mm -hmm. Genesis 1 26 and God said let us make man in our image according to our likeness right right let this mind be in you that was also in christ jesus who being in the form of god did not consider it robbery to be equal with god that's right philippians 2 5 through 7 so we see this throughout scripture even in the old testament isaiah 48 16 i had you write that verse down right right come near to me hear this i have not spoken in secret from the beginning from the time that it was i was there and now the lord god and his spirit have sent me that's a trinity in the Ooh, old testament that's Good. Genesis 19, 24, the Lord rained fire and brimstone from the Lord out of heaven. Exodus 6, 2 through 3, I am the Lord, and I appeared unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob by the name God Almighty. But by my name Jehovah was I not made known to them. One God, three persons forever. Jesus at the right hand of the Father. He bodily ascended to the right hand of the Father. Mark 16, 19. That's the triune God of Israel. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The That's Son right. is eternal. But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. Yes. That's Hebrews 1, 8 through 12. God, who at various times, and in various ways, spoke in times past to our fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom that's he right. appointed heir of all things, through whom he made the worlds. So that's the Trinity, Nana. I am I am so happy. Trina is, is teaching you and everything. I came to Christ, and I was believing, you know, this oneness. Well, see, of, I started there, and right. then I went another way. And now I... God's bringing you back, <laughs> right? Because right? I mean... Well, see, in that case, in that way, I can I can know more, a broader view, a broader picture of of the walk with God, right. my walk with right. God. Right, because there's aspects, right? I still believe in speaking tongue spiritual gifts, but I want to make sure I'm worshiping the God of Scripture. Right. When Jesus said in John 17, 5, when he was praying to the Father, Now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory that I had with you before the world began. Jesus had glory with the Father before the world began. The eternal life, First John, that was with the Father. So it's not a plan, right? The Son created everything. Ephesians 3, 9 says that God made all things through Jesus Christ. That's right. Right? So this is Revelation nineteen thirteen, And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God gives all this description of who this man is. That man is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So when scripture tells us, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three 
are one. So it's one God and three persons forever. We see in Hebrews 9, 14 three, that the spirit is eternal. Three, three manifestations. Of no, this. not manifestations, persons. Because manifestations is a temporal type oh, okay. type teaching, right? That's what oneness see, teaches, one right? Is, oneness teaches that. So I've got to get manifestations out of my head. Persons, right? right? Because right. Jesus is the eternal son of God. 